Well, I'm out here doing a little digging today. They about got all these fields planted, so I won't be able to come out much longer. Only been swinging a few minutes so far. Haven't found nothing good, but there's a nice, pretty marble right there on the surface. So we'll keep a looking and see what else we can find. Well, just a couple minutes later, still nothing great, but there's a neat little porcelain four hole button. That's what's nice about checking these spots after rain. You never know what's going to be on the surface that you can't pick up with a detector, so maybe I'll find something else. See you then. Well, out here digging, and that sure looks like a worked edge to me. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Part of a big old blade. A preform. One of the two. That's definitely an Indian artifact, though. Maybe this will shape up to be a good last hunt of this spot for the year, or well, at least till the fall. So uh, I'll get back at it and see what else I can find. Well, I haven't dug too much exciting, a bunch of shotgun shells and miscellaneous little stuff, but that looks like a nice little tip of arrowhead there. Oh yeah. What about a killer? Too bad it's broke. Don't normally find arrowheads out here in this field, but. That's the second piece of one I found today, so I guess it's giving up just a little bit before I get kicked off here for the rest of the year, at least till fall, so I'll get back at it and see if I can find anything else before I go home. All right, well, I haven't really found much still. This right here was a good squeaking sound. Now, I can't say for sure yet, but from what I felt just now, I think this might be a flat button. If so, it would be my very first ever flat button because it feels like there's a shank in the middle. So let me pause this real quick and, and clean it off a little and I'll get right back with you. Well, sure enough, you can see it's it's got some fancy around the edges and some sort of pattern on it. Don't think it's military or anything like that, but even has a full shank on it. My first ever flat button. May not be that important to uh, most people, but that's, uh, I don't know if I'd put that on my bucket list, but that is definitely something I was really hoping to find because around here that's, uh, that's getting pretty old. So I'm super happy with that. I'm glad I haven't given up yet. We'll see if we can find anything else good. Sorry if this wind is a bit noisy. This is why it pays to dig big iron right here. Look at that. If I'm not mistaken, it almost looks like a big old double headed hammerhead. Like for a railroad or something. Yeah, it's got the slot in the middle. So definitely a big old like hammerhead for working on a railroad or something that's freaking awesome the thing weighs a ton I'm gonna have to carry that to the truck over there real quick because I'm not carrying that around in my bag so we'll see uh, see if we can find anything else all right so I got everything cleaned up that I kept for the day and figured I'd go ahead and do a wrap up this was all the random brass and lead and whatnot miscellaneous pieces um i did weigh this big old railroad hammer and it's nine pounds and 13 ounces back to a hatchet uh three horseshoe parts this one's big and flat and real crude it's a pretty neat one i think it's old did find five flakes, midsection of a blade or preform, and nice tip. Uh, found some different neat pieces of glass. This, I don't know, is the bottom of something small. It's pretty color. 
nice aqua color you know some other bottlenecks and stuff typical stuff I find out there uh, some random bits and pieces of brass and valve stem and this little valve that has cold on one side and hot on the other um, this square nail that was on the surface without a bit of rust on it thought that was pretty neat uh, my best shotgun shell they ever if that's such a thing found nine of them found this nice pretty marble really nice color uh, this lead poker chip or I don't know that's what I'm calling it uh, porcelain button two hole button that's in really bad shape I can't make out what it says it's wanting to crumble uh, this overall button I'm not real sure what it says uh, this which I'm guessing is a button but it's a uh, MAU in the center and it's mutual aid union Rogers Arkansas which is up north of me so that's pretty neat and then my favorite find for the day which is this flat button with some fancy on the front that was my first ever flat button was not expecting it at all with the date of everything else I find with the range but it's an absolute beauty. I'm proud to have it. Proud to be able to save it. But uh, that'll be my last time to that spot until until they pull the crops out. So hopefully I can find some other spots to go during this coronavirus. That way I'm not bugging people and knocking on doors and making people uncomfortable. But uh until I see y'all again, hopefully you uh, are out there having some good luck. We'll see you later.